Hey y'all, it's Cousin Rosie and I'm going to show you how I make my smothered cabbage. This was inspired or actually kind of requested by one of y'all on Instagram. So let's get right to it. So I start off with my smoked turkey. I'm going to boil it until it's nice and tender. And it took me about, let's say, 30 to 35 minutes. And this is a smoked turkey wing. So yeah, I boiled it until most of the liquid was gone. And then I'm going to just turn the heat off, remove the turkey out of that pot, and then I'm going to just set it to the side. Now again, we cooked it down, y'all. So as you see, there's very little liquid in there, but we're not going to get rid of that. You're going to keep it in that pot, okay? So yeah, don't, don't dump it out. We want all that flavor to remain in the pot, y'all, okay? So now we're going to go over to our chopping board and we're just going to cut the meat from the bone. Again, I'm using a turkey, smoked turkey wing. Now, if you have a turkey leg that you want to use, you can do so. If you're not into turkey, you can do ham hocks. It does take a lot longer, but hey, do you. So at this chopping board, I have my turkey, onions, and garlic. I set that to the side, and here is my cabbage. So this, I believe, is Savoy cabbage. Um, I just picked it up from the grocery store. If you want to use a regular green cabbage, that will definitely work. I always peel the top leaves off, and then I just chop it just like so. And then I separate the leaves, or separate the cabbage. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? And then you're going to rinse it under cool water and all that other good stuff. I also cleaned it with some vinegar, so vinegar water. And then I set the cabbage to the side, okay? So we're back to our pot. I turned the heat to medium, and now I'm going to start adding in our onions. And I'm also going to add in the garlic, okay? Well, I did not add anything to the liquid. That's still the same old litty, little itty-bitty liquid that we had from our smoked turkey. And yeah, it's over medium meat. So now I'm just going to give everything a nice stir. And then after about five minutes or so, or once everything is nice and translucent, just like so, we can start adding in some more ingredients. So now I'm going to start adding in my uh, cabbage. Yeah, and don't forget you can use, uh, I'm using Savoy, you can use regular green. I've never used red cabbage for this, so. Um, I'm sure it will work. I just never used it. So now we're going to start adding that cabbage in and I'm going to just mix everything. I should have used a better kitchen utensil, y'all, but I grabbed whatever was there because I was recording and I wasn't quite prepared. But yeah, we're just going to stir. And then I'm going to start adding in my Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have Creole seasoning, you can use seasoning salts or you can use garlic salt. If you don't have any of those, regular salt is just gonna have to do boo okay because i don't want y'all going out to the store for just one of those seasons when you have something else you know time is hard don't be getting no robo for you know a particular salt now anyway we're going to start adding in our meats okay now again i'm using smoked turkey <laughs> for some reason people always ask me even if i mention what did you use smoked turkey baby so we're going to just stir everything and then once everything is nice and well incorporated i'm just going to grab the lid to my pot keep it on the heat on medium and then i'm going to just let the cabbage cook down until it looks like this and you know what we got our smothered cabbage it's smothered in onions turkey meat and garlic and just like that we are done i want to thank you all for watching don't forget to head over to iheartrecipes.com for the exact measurements